Chapter 8. Well Testing Sequences. The first two operations of any well test sequence are pressure testing the equipment and cleaning up the well. The last operations in the well test sequence involve flowing the well at one rate or several successive rates, taking representative fluid samples, and recording the pressure buildup during a final shut-in. Basic Sequence of Operations An initial well test program depends on the reservoir and the well characteristics. It is established after a detailed analysis of all the information available from geophysics, drilling, logging, etc. The recommendations given here are a summary of the industry experience over thousands of tests. Sequence of Operations Exploration Test 1. Pressure Test of the Surface Equipment 2. Initial Flow Communication from Reservoir to Casing 3. Initial Shut-in to Measure or Estimate Initial Reservoir Pressure, PI 4. Clean Up, Till Clean 5. First Shut-in, Optional 6. Flowing at one or several successive flow rates. 7. Taking representative fluid samples. 8. Final shut-in, to record pressure buildup, duration according to reservoir permeability. On this pressure graph from downhole gauge recorders, we can identify the following well testing sequences. Taking note of hydrostatic pressure pH. Open the well for an initial flow of 5 minutes to establish communication from reservoir to casing. Close the well for an initial shut-in period, for one hour, to estimate initial reservoir pressure PI. Open the well for a clean-up period on adjustable choke, gradually increased to 64 over 64. Determination of the best choke size, for optimum flow without depletion. Close the well for a first shut-in period. It is optional, to run in hold downhole gauges or surface readout. Open the well for a first flowing period on 32 over 64 fixed choke. Increase the choke size for a second flowing period on 64 over 64 fixed choke. This is called the main flowing period or drawdown through the test separator on several fixed choke sizes. Taking sets of representative surface samples at the end of the main flowing period. Close the well for a final shut-in period to record pressure build up. Open the well for flow on 16 over 64 to take representative bottom hole reservoir samples. Killed the well. Pull out of hole DST tools. Downhole pressure gauge recorders at surface. Sequence of operations production test. 1. Clean up till clean. 2. First shut in optional. 3. Flowing at one or several successive flow rates. 4. Final shut-in to record pressure buildup, duration according to reservoir permeability. On this pressure graph, from downhole gauge recorders, we can identify the following well testing sequences. Open the well for a clean-up period on adjustable choke, gradually increased to 64 over 64. Determination of the best choke size for optimum flow without depletion. Close the well for a first shut-in period. It is optional to run in hole downhole gauges or surface readout. Open the well through the test separator for a main flowing period on fixed choke. This is called the main drawdown. Taking sets of representative surface fluid samples at the end of the main flow period. Close the well for a final shut-in period to record pressure buildup. Pull out of hole downhole tools with pressure gauge recorders. Downhole pressure gauge recorders at surface. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of today's presentation. In the next video presentation, Chapter 9, you will learn about the cleanup period. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one.